I'm being <laughs> I'm being completely honest with you, like No, was it? No, it was probably April actually. Oh my god. Alright, so hopping right into hopping right into this match. So Inkling versus Luigi. So Inkling's a character I haven't really seen a lot anymore. Because there was a lot of talk about Inkling at the start, right? The roller was busted and people kept complaining about it. That that's just people figuring out the character. Yeah. But the roller itself isn't busted, it's the it's the bury. Mm -hmm. The bury the bury mechanic is, is busted. Yeah. But, like But it was it was also the fact that roller was cancelable and it was really safe on shield if you could and, jump out of it. And now people figured out counterplay and it's yeah. fine. Which is it's fine yeah, of course it's fine, right? It's fine now. Yeah. People found out the counterplay and yeah, I've stopped complaining really. Yeah. So nothing wrong with that. So Luigi versus Inkling though. What's your take on that? Inkling should win. I feel she has enough tools to keep him out, enough tools to continue to continue edge guarding. She has like really good, really good zone making uh -oh. tools. Yeah, no, I, I I can definitely tell you where you're going right now. But elegant, this isn't the first time he's gone against Inkling. Yep. So he's definitely got this match under his boot. Abadongo, of course, is just Abadongo, and using the tornado just like that to avoid the up air confirm. Uh, Elegant knows what he's doing, and both these players know what they're doing. They're both really top players in each of their regions. And the tornado catches it out! There we go! Elegant! And going in exactly down with the down. tornado there. Yep. Just using the vacuum to, to just pull him down. Oh, and he jabbed the wrong way, unfortunately. Uh, he accidentally turned around. He still would have lost that interaction, actually. Really? Yeah. Because by the time his jab came out, it came out, he got buried. His, his first jab came out and then he got there. Yeah. So I think there was time. He, he would have clanked with Roller, uh -huh. but he still would have lost the trade because he would have gotten buried. That's true. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Is this Guiji? It's Guiji. Oh. It's purple. It, it, it took me a, a moment. I haven't had time to watch E3. Oh, really. man. But yeah. Get with the program. Hey, man, when you got work and stuff. That's true. All right. Very okay. nice. Parrying the Nair with a forward tilt there. Oh. So also Luigi in this uh, in the patch that came, um, his Zare got buffed really hard. It's it's a really good option. The double when you do Zare into grab, it's one of the best. It's one of, it's really good on Luigi, and it's one of the best moves in art to get a grab. So the F smash barely missing out. So both of them are really even. And the fair no roller was trying to catch it out somewhere, but Amdongo and Elegant really even, and they're both really respecting each other's range. Yeah. I I like what Abu Dango's doing. He's yes, he's throwing out hitboxes uh -oh. to that catch it? out Elegant, but he's throwing That's out understandable Ooh. hitboxes that you know that he knows can beat out Elegant. Uh -huh. And that was a great usage. That was a great usage of the bomb. Is that what it is? Yeah, splat bomb. Splat bomb. Uh, interacted with the uh, with the Luigi oh, missile. What's splat grenade? One of the two. And great confirm into the tornado, the cyclone. So even stock for both of them, and this is only game one. Throwing out another uh, spot bomb there. There we go. So both of them really fighting out. The neutral game is really intense for both of them because Luigi can get so much damage off of one grab in the neutral game, and Inkling can do the same. They both have great combos off of a grab. So they're both fishing for the same thing, yet they still have to throw out these projectiles and these aerials so they can just keep each other in check. Abaddon continue to use his back air. Very nice use of his disjoint of his splat gun. Just beating out all these fireballs that Elegant's trying to create zones with. Uh-huh, and great use of the Cyclone, knowing that Abdong was going to commit to it. The jabs catch out the landing, and he's looking for the spike. Didn't snap to ledge, but it's going to be okay. The roll not caught out. And the Zare gets flanked over. He's going to be okay. Oh. He's getting off the close right now. Neutral game, they're both reset to the neutral, but they both do really well. And like you said, that the back air did beat out the fireball. Is that going to be it? No, no knockback this time. And oh, he actually gave the recovery. So game one goes in Abadongo's favor, but boy, that was a really close match. Yeah, Abadongo doing, doing generally well at keeping Elegant out of his zone, continuing to use his, his back air to keep Elegant out. It's super fast i believe it auto cancels yeah and it can it can combo into grab at low percents can, i think it can combo into if you fall back here 
I think you could combo into... You could extend with Nair yeah. after falling with back air as well. There's a there's quite a few paths you can take with back air, and Abadango knows this. Uh-oh, here comes the grab. So into the fair, into the Nair, up air, Nair, and up to attempt, but 62% already. This is what exactly what I'm talking about off of one grab. Like, that's the explosive power. Yeah, I like, what, I like how Abba just waited on the up e, though. He just wanted to make sure that Elegant uh, actually fell through the platform there. Yeah. So, no conversion off that. Falling Nair, he's trying to use the Cyclone to convert, but that back air, Abadongo at 121% already, and using that neutral special, it has so much shield, it has so much, like, shield stun, and yes. hit stun, it's, it's, it's aggravated. You can't get through it, you just have to respect it. And, was that the Cyclone? That was Cyclone. That was Cyclone taking it. So here we go. And great usage, interrupting. Is that back air into F Smash? Okay, okay, elegant. Yeah, um, he was able to get the F Smash because Abadango wanted to pull out another roller. Mm -hmm. And in between the roller, he got F Smash by Elegant okay. there. So th this is so good for Elegant, though. Already running away with the stock, almost an even percent. Using the down smash as well. Why he did in down taunt, I don't know. Uh, oh, but using the down air, no spike. And, oh, he's going to be fine. Uh, down, down taunt. Oh, he tried to use the F Smash. Oh, he did a turnaround. Incorrect option. But Elegant coming back to the ledge and using the Cyclone once more. Abadongo back off the ledge once again. Down Smash not going to be able to hit. But the Cyclone unsafe on shield into the up smash from Abadongo. Very nice turn on up smash, getting the sweet, sweet spot. spot. Picking him up with the, with the tip of the bucket there. Mm -hmm. So really good from him. So Elegant. Inkling's got great comeback potential, yes. especially with the ink. So Elegant really needs to be careful and just eliminate the stock as fast as possible using the down tilt to two frame. Two frame with quotes because it's really simple, but... I mean, cycle. if it's if it two frames, it's two frames. It's two no frames, yeah, right. There's no in between. And using that, trying to keep using the roller in order to try to recover. Neutral get up, not punish, so he's going to be okay. He's trying to use the missile, excuse me. Yeah, see, what Elegant's trying to do on the ledge there here is create a rhythm that Abadango can get familiar with, try to get, get a hitbox. Try, try to get a hitbox in between that rhythm, and Elegant's trying to predict when he's oh God. he's trying to break the rhythm. And I think, oh my God, Elegant's getting in Abadango's head. He saw he predicted the jump, and he's predicting it. Abadango is stuck off stage 30% of the time, and he's gonna get the gentleman jab. So the first time we're seeing Elegant knocked off stage, but it's only needs the F smash misses barely. This is Paintbrush and Bucket. That was unfortunate for Abadango there. He gets the fair, but no he's tech. not going to get the bear or the roller. Uh-huh, and this is really close, but it's scary to see how close these guys are interacting. But Elegant has to stop him. That's the most important part. Okay, slapping him away with the fair there. And the fair, the bear once more. I and like it. Sharking the ledge. Oh, no, missed grab. And the roller finally takes it out. Can he mash out correctly? But no. Nope. Yeah, but... He got out too quick. Yeah. And Viser hits him and oh up special missed out. Up smash was 60%. But the cyclone sucks. Abadango right back in. Elegant needs to clean up the stock. The bear hits. Abadango is still holding on for dear life. 31%. Like Elegant 45. This isn't over yet, but the tip of the cyclone catches it out. A lot of Zares being thrown out once more. Abadango needs to get it in, but the cyclone not just yet. It's Very stalled stale. out. All right, tries to get the down smash on oh, the roll there. Dash attack. A bit too much. So here we go. Elegant using the Zare once more. Great use of catching it out. Trying to use the down tilt. The Cyclone actually gets interrupted, the fair. Oh, this is so close, but the Cyclone will be able to take it. Just there we go. Elegant. That's really how, that's actually just how Elegant lands. Loves to use Cyclone because of the iframes. It covers his whole body. And if you don't, if you don't bait it out, you kind of. If if you don't bait out the cyclone, you kind of just put yourself in a bad situation. I, it's also like there's a lot of pressure in that situation as well. Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure Abadongo knew that the cyclone was coming, but maybe at the same time he was like he wouldn't do it five times. He did it every time he landed. But it's elegant, right? Elegant does it almost every time he lands. Yep. So. But game. Eighty percent of the time he'll land with a cyclone. So elegant. And Abadongo on game number three. This has been a really close set, though. That's what I really like about yes. this. 
Throwing out Poltergeist and Fireballs just to keep out Abadango out. But Abadango, again, zone breaking with a back air there and gets to grab into the up air. Nope, not yet. Baits out the, baits out the Cyclone. I mean, you're talking about that. He needs to do that. I don't think it was it was like a bait. I think it was just because he whiffed the up air and he just created an opportunity for uh -oh. him to uh, try and get in. So great use of the Zare to fight with the fair and trying to use the down tilt in order to find an opportunity. The jams land and both of them are literally even percent, except just point one off. Uh-oh. Alright, he's fine. He's inkling. Oh, this day spike, he's gonna be okay. Yeah, in inkling, uh... I, I forgot what it's called. Recovery? I forgot what the actual name for is, but yeah, inkling recovery just goes super far. Uh -huh. I, oh, the spike! There we go, yeah. elegant! Giving him the boot. Giving him the boot right to the fruit. And here we go, the Zer interrupts the... Interrupts the uh, the roller, right? Yes. Yeah, so that's that's really good for Elegant to know. That's actually really, really good. And interrupts the down smash. Yeah, right? interrupts the down. Well, no, that was up smash. Uh, both it doesn't ups, matter. It got interrupted, yeah. right? Both, both up smash and down smash use the bucket. Uh -huh. So it looked more like down smash to me. But whatever the case, Elegant is off the stage, has to deal with Ink Bomb. Man, Not going to get hit. Yeah, he delayed his recovery knowing that uh, uh, Abadongo was going to go for an edge guard using the Cyclone once more. And once again, Abadango is gonna get the root, misses it because. What is this guy's mash? mash? I don't know, it's crazy. Remember all I, the. I, I, I play Mario Oh my Party goodness, this time. there we go, Elegant. Converting off of it. Don't play Mario Party with Elegant. Don't play. Play. No, it's because remember, Elegant played Luigi in Smash 4, and no. he's been practicing those mashing tornadoes. No, even before then, his mash was stupid good. Okay, it's working out right now against the Japanese legend. So here we go, using the Cyclone once more. I mean, you gotta feel bad, because like, Apodago knows that the Cyclone's coming, but he just, Elegant just keeps using it. Can't really do it much about it. He gets vacuum into the Cyclone. Uh -huh. And here we go, off stage. what's the edge guard? Using the Zare once more. Oh, that's what it's called, splat down. Splat down? And down throw into, no, I thought he was looking for an up special. Looked like he tried to get a reverse back there, but didn't reverse himself in time and got a karate chop instead. And here we go, Cyclone used once again. All right, back here on the Volta Gus. He's uh -huh. and Elegant doing really well at keeping his zone. Uh huh. So what's the edge guard attempt? The Zara hit, but it was during the recovery into the up smash. Elegant takes the set. Yeah, Elegant.